Hi guys, it's Bible Girl. I am using a webcam right now. It's not mine. It's the people I live with's webcam, but we'll see how nice this camera is. It's a test, I guess. Uh, today's Testimony Tuesday. So, um, thank you, Pensieve34, for being all concerned. I am doing fine. I just was caught up with a few things going on. So, yeah. Um, today... I want to talk about something that happened about a year ago. Um, I did a video about this shortly after all the things happened, but I figured retrospectives are good too. Uh, on October 10th, 2010, so I'll never really forget it, because it's 10, 10, 10, in the day after two of my uh, best friends got married, um, on 10, 10, 10, I was coming home with all my friends from the road trip to the wedding and I found out that my great aunt was in the hospital because she had a heart attack and the reason she had a heart attack was because my second cousin had died. Then the next day I went to the, I got, my mom was frantically trying to get a hold of me because my great grandmother was dying. So I spent the night, so today's the anniversary of that, where I spent the night um, next to my great grandmother. She, I fell asleep by her and she died with all of us at her side. And it was a really emotionally crazy week and draining and painful. And I had feelings all over the place. <laughs> Particularly, you know, I went from crying, I mean, I went from this amazing, joyful, happy experience of a wedding of friends that I adore to, like, depression and sadness, but despite the fact that it was a horrible, horrible set of events that happened that week, I remember it now. Uh, it's been a year almost since I graduated college and in my opinion it's the best memory I have of my college experience and that sounds really weird but the reason why I hold it to be so good is because I had so many friends who were there for me and I had always grown up hearing things about how we're supposed to be the body of Christ and be there for each other and you know my church is very big on small groups so you know your small group is your family and they're supposed to help you through things but I'd never really fully experienced this through my local body or anywhere because you know I had experienced some really important and really helpful things and awesome things but for that whole week, uh, my friends were there for me. Let's go watch Harry Potter. I think we, we watched two Harry Potter movies that week. Uh, we watched Aladdin. We I went and played pool with some friends who I barely knew at the time. Um, and now one of them's one of my best friends. and. I was having an awkward moment because of some whatever stuff going on with one person and he was fantastic and just sat with me as I waited to get picked up to go say goodbye to my great grandmother. People would go want to go talk to my professors for me. They'd go with me if I had to go. I went up to the office trying to see if I could get some help with a bereavement sort of period. Um, they prayed with me, they talked with me, they sat with me. They let me um, squeeze their hands when I was upset. <laughs> um, particularly uh, 10 and 10, when I came home, I remember just so many friends just sitting there. Just sitting there and letting me cry or say what I needed to say or and I'll just 
being with me in this moment of grief, very much Old Testament style where people would, you know, wear a sackcloth and sit <laughs> together. And I had never, ever experienced anything on that level. And to see how the church is supposed to act and love one another was just a beautiful, touching, moving experience that I'm never going to forget. And I don't think I'm ever going to be without at least a nice percentage of the people that were there for me because I think I found Big C Church. <laughs> church relationship through these people and it's worth every penny of um, student loans that I met these people. <laughs> Alright guys, um, my little piece I wanted to say, uh, be prepared for a lot of Twilight videos coming up because I've been skimping on my r &Rs and Breaking Down comes out next month. So there will be quite a few. I'm practically going to be doing Valo. <laughs> I'm not doing it intentionally, it's just going to have to happen. And I'm going to try to splice in um, different things. Talk a bit about Doctor Who, because I've become quite the Whovian since um, season or series, depending where you're at, six came out when I started really watching Who, and I love it. <laughs> uh, some stuff with Harry Potter I really want to do. Uh, I know I can't really edit right now like I told you guys, but... I do want to do a little, um, little video series, like someone doing a diary through um, Tonks' perspective, because I am a Hufflepuff, and Tonks is my Halloween costume, and we've got a pretty freaking awesome setup, so I thought I might, you know, why not, just do it, be fun. Okay guys, I love you all, God bless, and I will see you very, very soon with some Twilight. <laughs> okay, bye.